Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy here, back at you with another video. And today we're going to be looking at some of FMB's outrageous fees. And uh, I'm gonna hopefully help educate you on some of the other alternatives. And I'm also gonna try and not get sued by FMB. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And it keeps me doing them and it keeps me sharing what I've learned in my business uh, career. All right, let's get into it. FNB isn't uh, necessarily the most expensive bank and it's not necessarily the cheapest bank. I've been with them for about three to five years, six years maybe, uh, quite a long time actually, and I haven't had the worst experience. Um, they haven't done much wrong. But then again, banking in South Africa, the industry, there isn't much that they offer really. I mean, I know the banks offer all these like extras like e-bucks and things like that. But like, that's not really important these days. It's just like, you just want to be able to maybe draw some cash and you want to be able to EFT people. And I mean, like the rest is standard debit orders and all of those things. That's like, you're not really distinguishing yourself by having any of those extra features. So anyway, let's jump in and have a look at some of FNB's pricing and what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are in the, uh, this is actually their 2022 pricing and it's changing at the end of June, 2022. Uh, so I'm looking at the business accounts and like, I do want to point out like, come on, like these, th these things, like firstly, it, it took me so long to figure out these F and B fees. Um, they're, they're like PDFs are quite confusing, quite difficult to, to actually understand. I know they're 20, the next one's a little bit better. Um, now this, this peeves me cause it's the first F and B zero bank account. Firstly, it's not for businesses. It's for sole proprietors. Um, here we go for the digital savvy sole proprietor. Uh, so that's not really helping any business owners out there. Um, that means not businesses can't use it. Business sole proprietor, they just, I'm talking about PTY fees, uh, non -sole, sole prop fees. There are some really good alternatives out there at the moment. Now coming down to here, there is different fees. Uh, this is on the single fee for like, you kind of pay one fee and you get a bunch of stuff free, um, 30 electronic debit transfers and thereafter. 19 rand per transaction. I mean, that's unbelievable. <laughs> it's like laughable. I mean, that's like a pound in the UK. Uh, that's like a dollar 20 per transaction in Africa. I mean, it just makes no sense. Um, and when you, you know, later on, I'm going to compare this to like one or two other banks. And I mean, that's, that's outrageous. So yeah, when I started out, like I could, I try to do the pay as you go model, which is, which is even more funny. Uh, but we'll get there in a second. Uh, so next thing is, okay, if you go up to sort of the most premium offering, uh, the gold, no, it's actually the platinum, uh, 17 Rand per transaction, but you get 90 free. If you pay 630 bucks, you get 90 free and then you get, and then thereafter, if you go over, don't worry, just 17 Rand per transaction. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I mean, I don't know what your guys' banks are, but this seems, this seems way too much. Um, I definitely need to reconsider where I'm banking. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, pay as you use. I mean, okay. So then they've got pay as you. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, because in all fairness, this is the end of June, 2022, and they have made some reductions. All right. So the new fees coming in, uh, as far as I can tell on the platinum model, um, which is their fancy account is going to charge you, you get 200 free, which is much more than the 90 that we just saw, which is good. Good job guys. 90 free, EF, uh, 200 free FTs. Nice. But thereafter you pay 12 Rand per transaction. I mean, I don't know if I'm reading this wrong, but, uh, correct me if I am, uh, FNB, but 12 Rand for a trans for an EFT. I mean, I, and bear in mind, we're paying 700 bucks a month for this account. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if, if this is, if you guys agree with me, but you know, if I'm being like ridiculous in the descriptions, just like, and you're, you know, guys think this is right, but I don't think this is it. Um, anyway. Okay. So now the next thing is what I thought was funny. Uh, this business zero account. So now this is kind of off topic, but this is the sole prop account. Also not for PTYs. So I don't know why it's sort of in the same thing, but they, you know what they claim now? It's because they're all oh, business banking. That's no fees, but it's not really the same thing. Cause it's like you exclude half of the businesses or more of the businesses. Some percentage of the business are excluded from that free account. So anyway, technicality, 
uh on the free account it is um on the sole prop it's one one round fifty per transaction which is fine uh then if you come down to the pay as you go model for the smallest level which is the gold then you see okay from from three rand fifty you're like you're thinking okay that's not so bad. Three rand fifty per transaction is much cheaper than twelve rand, but I get this. Okay, so then I come down to um, there was like a little asterisk there, so I'm like, okay, I've got to follow this asterisk. And then I get down to it says come down to digital banking solutions section. So bear in mind, forty or so pages later, and then I come to start of digital banking transactions. Right, so. Actually, so I mean, because I saw the, the little asterisk, it's actually from 353. And like, this I find is quite hilarious. So, what, what they actually mean is you're never going to pay 353. I mean, most businesses on the cheapest banking option are probably not going to pay 353. What you will be charged here in actually big writing is you'll be charged 750 per transaction. So nothing even closely, remotely close to three rand fifty for the first two hundred and fifty transactions. Then you'll get charged six rand forty five per transaction for the subsequent seven hundred and fifty transactions and so forth. For example, if you do two hundred and sixty transactions, which is an un unreal unrealistic amount of, of transactions, it's like ten a day, under just nine, eight, ten a day around about there. Um in a month, your fee will be the sum of seven uh, seven rand fifty times two hundred and fifty plus six rand forty five times ten rand equals one thousand nine hundred and thirty rand and fifty cents to do two hundred and sixty EFTs. Are you kidding me? And I'm still not paying three rand fifty three per EFT. I don't want someone to do the math on how long it's going to take me before I'm actually paying three rand fifty three. I have to do. Plus, per t I have to do ten. Do I have to do ten, ten thousand EFTs before I get to pay three rand fifty three an EFT? Ten thousand. It is my banking fees have to be fifty thousand rand before I'm paying three rand fifty three on a like a seventy rand a month account. So something like that. Just, I mean, this seems outrageous. <laughs> um. But yeah, do your own research because I mean, this is this is just my what I've found, and 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 I I could be misreading this. So I'm really willing to understand um, more from from F and B if you guys want to get reach out to me. Um, anyway, so I've done a video in the past about Bank Zero, and this is sort of the whole premise behind this thing is like bank fees shouldn't be anywhere remotely in that region of cost i mean i don't understand for an eft i'm just like paying people like the government should make that free even it's just like a hindrance to business i mean that it, it's it's money for they're not doing anything it's just a moving of a thing on a spreadsheet um anywho uh bank zero is got the nicest pdf of them all and they oh okay this year's pricing guide nah just the same as last year and the year before so it's like, you know, they don't even make a new pricing PDF where like F and B has these like intricate 59 page thing with like little asterisks on everything. Um, monthly free, nothing, uh, set up new, nothing. And I've got a business bank account with them. They, I must say, just, I'll follow up with that in another video. Needs some work on the app and it's a little bit tricky because it's only on the app. There isn't like a web portal. So for like, a uh, business doing 250 EFTs a month or something like that, you know, you have to really be comfortable on the phone. Um, but anyway, it's got some other cool features and it's not, it's not going to cost you like 700 or 800 Rand a month. So it's like, yeah, it's just a no brain. I mean, there's some other fees, blah, 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 blah. Um, but basically the cost of the base, the base stuff is, is free. So, I think F and B and the other banks need to be careful as they come, um, as these other banks get traction. Uh, I don't see why bigger businesses wouldn't be taking a taking advantage of this. It just seems like a no brainer. Um, I did look at Mercantile, which is Capitec, which I would assume is going to be the second best option coming into twenty, like coming into the end of this year. Apparently, the F their banking is going to be out and like rolled out in full steam. Um, 
basically it's five rand per transaction uh and but but their account is 69 rand a month 65 rand a month um so, I mean, it's still cheap and it's like attainable. At least I don't have to spend like 50 grand before I get down to like the same as what f &B would charge uh, for, for it. I mean, to, to get down to five rand, I, oh, I only have to do a thousand EFC. So 50,000 well, 50, rand before I get to the same price on f &B. Um, and I think that, And I think that counts cheaper. So all around... I'm not too sure if, and I, I see these things where f and is like a claims as the cheapest business bank, but I think, you know what they keep doing is they keep throwing in that sole proprietor, uh, sole proprietor thing in and like they, their sole prop account, which is like the zero account. And like every bank has a zero account for sole proprietors is basically, they don't do much besides it's, it's, a, it's essentially a personal account. Maybe they do stuff. But it's like, it doesn't really do much. It's not like another entity, like a normal, like a PTY's account is another entity, a PTY limited or a trust or a CC owns that account. And then that account is owned by shareholders. Whereas like a sole prop is just a person, you put your fingerprint in. It's not like you're acting on behalf of a big organization with authorities and sign-offs. And I rant too much on this video, but anyway, <laughs> um, they keep advertising as like, those are the business offerings for businesses, but it's not. Those are the offerings for sole proprietors, which maybe they are the cheapest. I don't know. Don't think so. Um, I haven't really done my research though, but I, I doubt it. Um, but in terms of the other actual business accounts, uh, it's not, it doesn't feel like the cheapest and it feels like a bit of a rip sometimes. Um, especially, I don't know if my bank ever watches, I'm like trying to get some like funding from them and like uh, other banks are keen and F and B just doesn't want to. Um, I mean, I've been with them for like two, three years and I can't even get an overdraft or a credit card. And you know, people are going to say it's credit rating, but uh, other banks are more than willing to offer it. I have credit at all of the banks I bank with, except f and for some reason. So anyway, uh, that's my personal att 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 attribution to this. Um, and I did say I would be looking at moving and uh, here's the evidence of my research. Uh, other than that, let me know your guys' experiences with f and in the description, in, in the in the comments below. Um, I'm really curious if I'm not alone on this. I know I've, I've ranted a few times before about different banks and it's quite a popular topic. And let me know which bank you guys think is going to be the best one to be banking with coming in the next few years, uh, you know, from, from now, which one's going to be taking the leave. I've got my bets on Mercantile and Bank Zero. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. And as usual, I'm Andy. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. It's the only thing that keeps this uh, keeps this guy recording videos every Saturday. And yeah, I'd love to bring you guys some more knowledge and information and things that I learned while struggling to get a business going. It's South Africa isn't the easiest land, uh, isn't the easiest place to start a business because of the access to information. It's not all digital. There's a lot of manual stuff involved. So if I can make your job uh, as an entrepreneur a little bit easier, that would mean the world to me. So till next time, peace guys.